Patrick's Day with Nanny and Moose Part 2. Moose and I made a great Irish grub haul today. Early this morning, we went to a place called the British Grocer, and they get all their things from Ireland and England and Scotland, and we made a haul a real good Irish grub haul. And this morning, we are going to cook the full Irish breakfast. The star of the show, which you can't get anywhere except in this wonderful place called the British Grocer in Fullerton, California. Traditional black pudding, which I love. This is not too wild. This beautiful emerald isle will forever hold a place in our hearts of green pastures and ancient Celtic crosses, of family laughter and music and song, of gentle people and of candlelit churches and Gaelic singing. Oh, a little bit of heaven fell from out the sky one day. Look what else we found down at the British grocer. The Irish Herald, and it's the March edition, Southern California edition, and I guess who's reading it here? What? Yeah. Are you ready for your full Irish breakfast? What time is it? It's 11.25 and I'm sitting in the so morning. <laughs> well, we're almost there. <laughs> I have a lot of it prepared. of March, Sunday morning. It goes back to Julius Caesar right. and his soothsayer warning him, beware the Ides of March. And we get all this information from Shakespeare's play, Julius Caesar. And Julius says, look at me, it's the end of the day, I'm still here. Shortly thereafter, Cassius something Brutus. Yeah. When on the steps of the Roman Senate assassinated Julius Caesar. However, today is our lucky day, and we, do you hear the sizzling? We are cooking up this wonderful breakfast. Everything has been prepared. We have the rashers, which is um, the Irish bacon, which is not like our um, streaked bacon. We have the black pudding, which is a blood pudding, and it's delicious. Moose is not wild about it, I am. We're frying it, and we also, in the pan, have one of the Irish bangers. The others are in the other pan. They've been cooking in the oven for about 20 minutes, and now we're browning them. And I'm gonna turn these. Ah, another, I don't know how everybody in England and Ireland eat all this. Here we have button mushrooms cooking, and you see we have fried tomatoes, some more of those Irish bangers, and we have the potato pancakes. They call them potato scones, but you just flip them over, and we'll be eating these as our always have to have potatoes in the meal. The baked beans are cooking. We have those. What? What are we doing? Okay. I think we're about ready here. I'm gonna turn, see the rashers? These are called Irish rashers. I'm gonna come up again and show you. Looks kind of like a skinny piece of ham, but it's delicious. And the black pudding, we'll turn that, brown that on the other side. And, oh, 
almost ready to eat this breakfast. I do have to fry a couple of eggs, and that's it. So, tell them where we visited this morning. The British coaches, yeah, but he has plenty of Irish things. That's what was British things. You know, we call it a full Irish breakfast. So when you went into the pub or into a restaurant for breakfast, what we have, sir, full Irish breakfast, and that's it. Mushroom, tomatoes, bacon, bangers, oh, beans, beans, baked beans, and a couple of eggs just to keep it going. Full Man. Irish. If you went to England, you saw what it is. Full English. Uh, usually uh, in Europe, they have this on a Sunday morning, like we are having on this Sunday before St. Patrick's Day. And um, we have had this so many times all over England. I think I mentioned that we did live in Scotland for three years and visited Ireland many times. Um, not only on our own, but we took some wonderful trips when we came home with all our children and grandchildren and stayed in Ireland for two weeks at Christmas. We did that twice, and that's a video coming up. What do you think, Mose? I think we're ready to play some in. Speaking of names, um, Ireland has the funniest names for their various things. Uh, as we were researching recipes and things, plus we've had a lot of this, we have something called Bubble and Squeak, which they do have as part of their breakfast, and it's basically another name for Cold Cannon, which we did a couple of days ago in our other Irish cooking video. Um, turn this way down. How are we doing here? You have to keep track of me here. Um, I, I try to do that. I tried all my life. I <laughs> failed desperately. Nope. I'm me. Um, I'm going to cook probably three eggs. Can you eat two eggs with this huge breakfast or only one? Oh, definitely two. Two eggs. Well, see, we're going to show Moose after he finishes this breakfast. I think I'll only have one. So I'm going to shut this off for a minute while I fry some eggs, and then I will plate this wonderful meal. I wanted to wear my Irish outfit again because I don't get to wear it much, so that's why I'm dressed the same way as it was yesterday. And I think I explained to you all about my wonderful Irish pins. These are Cairngorms in the middle of these. These are from um, Ireland. and. I explained to you about the other one I had that we gave to our son. Okay, we're frying up the eggs. Thank you. I love the sizzle of food on top of the stove. One more. You know, we mentioned some silly names tell you what they all were. One we didn't tell them about was Toad in the Hole. It's Toad in the Hole is bangers or Irish or English sausage. Here's my eggs. But they look good. Um, baked in a baking dish with Yorkshire pudding all oh, around yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the sausages are all lined up and the Yorkshire pudding comes up around it. And they, they used to say, the folklore is, that the um, when you take the sausages out, it looks like a toad peeking up from his hiding place. What do you think? Whatever. Whatever. Well, I think you, you address it with uh, onion. Onion gravy. gravy yeah. Right. It was great. I think we might be ready. So we're going to plate. And Moose is going to start eating his breakfast right here. Oh, Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. Moose is ready to eat his wonderful, full Irish breakfast. My oh my, look at that. Bacon, rashers, black pudding, beans, mushrooms, tomato, banger, scone, and... Thanks. Let me, let me take this wonderful plate up and do a full-on, so beautiful. It takes a while to cook this. Must take two or three people in a family. <laughs> you see the scones and the bangers and the black pudding. Black pudding is right here. 
and a lot of you might not be familiar with it, but I love it. Could you give it to me so I can use it? Okay. I'm so proud of it. <laughs> there you go. Enjoy. Thank you. And he has his tea. Oh, and his Coleman's mustard. And I brought out the bread that we made the other day. This is Nellie's moist Irish bread, and this is the traditional in the back, the traditional brown hard bread. So enjoy. I'll just stand here and watch him eat. <laughs> we'll come back while Moose finishes his breakfast. Come up and tea to me. Yes. Well, oh, honey, I, I would say I destroyed that. I would say you did too. Look, everybody. That thing was he crying for mercy. He cleaned his face. <laughs> was crying like a dog. dog. But I did. Good boy. As you tell me, tell me good. Well, I enjoyed mine too. And I just want to wish everybody a very happy St. Patrick's Day on Tuesday. And of course, still keep praying for all our world really to um, carefully take care of each other and let's get over this coronavirus hopefully someone will find a cure soon for it or a vaccine happy st patrick's day thank you and so cheers to us cheers to you i love you god bless you guys god bless everybody please subscribe and Make some comments. Tell us what you think. Bye-bye now. This is the coolest little place in Fullerton, California, Orange County. Little tiny shops with a beautiful, beautiful, look at this, little atrium and all these little shops. British Grocer. You will love it. They have everything. I've already picked out some things. Come on in, Moose. Look at all the teas. Now, in this clouded looking freezer, we picked out our black pudding. We got some stout pies some bangers. See the bangers? Irish, British, oh, wonderful. Meat pies. There is everything here, which some of it I will be cooking this morning. Look at all the wonderful tea, teapots, and teacups. Beautiful shop. Flags galore. I wonder if they have the Irish flag here somewhere.